guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Oba Gang, also known as Vegan underscore Fit OB. No, <laughs> my name is Oba Gang, also known as Plant Based Fit OB or Oba Gang underscore Fit OB. So, guys, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen, which means I'm going to take you guys through what I eat in a day. Not a day, three days. <laughs> so, today is Wednesday. Uh, we had low shedding, but the power just came back. So, I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I did have some coffee earlier uh, in the morning, and then I had a lot of water i also went for a walk i did some a bit of a workout so now i'm ready for my smoothie and i'm going to show you guys what i put into my smoothie please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so these are the ingredients I added to my smoothie. I started off with some chopped up spinach, then I added some banana and then my protein shake. I used one scoop only and then some almond breeze unsweetened almond milk. <laughs> um, and then I added some chia seeds. These are good for your gut health and some extra protein. Then I added some avocado. Guys, please try it. Before you judge, please, please try the avocado. It's really, really good. Then I blended everything together and while that was blending i decided to freeze some fruit so i chopped up um some strawberries i had some bananas and i think i also had some pineapple this is good for meal prepping once my smoothie was ready i just decanted it into a cup as you guys can see it's so silky and so smooth because of the avocado and i enjoyed my smoothie later that morning i actually had some of these prawn style pieces from fries i really really enjoyed these and they're a good snack um, to have midday i also had a nectarine because i wasn't really hungry um, in the afternoon then it was time to prepare my late lunch slash dinner here i have some canned chickpeas which i thoroughly rinsed with some water um i added some seasoning so salt some pepper some paprika um i also added some oil some cumin and i think i added some olive oil if i'm not mistaken um and basically i just popped that into the oven before this i did preheat my oven to ensure that it's nice and warm and ready for me to add all of this in there so the best thing to do is make sure that you spice it probably on the side i don't know this on this day i was just being very lazy then i went ahead and chopped up some of these uh snacking peppers i get these from checkers they're really cute and they go very well in your salads um and they're actually cheaper than the big peppers so i roasted those just to bring out the flavor in them and i mixed it up on the tray i didn't add any seasoning um before after adding the peppers then i popped this into the oven as you guys know my light does not work but there you go then on the side i actually prepared this amazing amazing salad dressing using all these ingredients that is tofu in case you're wondering what is that block there i show you guys milk here but i actually don't end up using the milk because i was worried that if i leave it in the fridge for a couple of days it might give a sour taste so i just added some tofu some nutritional yeast i added some of my garlic crushed garlic you can use the fresh garlic i went ahead and added some freshly squeezed lemon juice lime sorry lime juice um on this particular day i used two but i would advise using just one and then i added some parsley and some of my olive oil which is practically done i then blended all of that together the consistency of this was amazing um however i did add a bit of water and once that everything was ready i started with plating my lettuce then i added some of the quinoa i had from the previous day i then added some cucumber some of the roasted peppers some of my chickpeas which was so so yummy um and then i added some uh, avocado obviously because i really enjoy avocado and it's good oils and i also added some sunflower seeds then i dressed it all up and lunch was basically ready guys it's the end of the day um, my pal came back just after 6 pm i am about to make coffee because i'm about to get into my night shift school work time so i am feeling a bit tired so i'm gonna make some coffee I'm also going to refill my bottle. There's no power, so I'm going to have a banana. It's quite big actually. Bigger than the usual bananas I get, which are like 
the side. So it's not quite big. Banana time and water. Thank God for gas stoves because I was able to do a bit of meal prepping during low shedding. So I used this plant-based mince, which I got from Checkers, uh, the brand Simply, Tr Simply Truth. Uh, I basically defrosted it on the stove because there was no power. Uh, I added a bit of water and then I had some onion that I chopped up, some of the pepper, and then a little bit of spices and herbs all mixed up in the small bowl that I really, really like um basically i'm going to add all of this to the mince and my oil i promise you guys there was a bit left in there and i'll be adding some soy sauce as well and you guys already know crushed garlic always has to make it into the pots so i added all of those ingredients into a hot um pan after i cleaned it up and i basically mixed that all up and then i added my spices and herbs and after that i let it uh, cook for a bit then i added the mince that i cooked a bit earlier and i fried all of that up i made all of it um but with the intention of using some of it in later ingredients so don't worry about it being dry whenever i use it i just add a bit of things in it so i use this container that i got from Descam to basically save some of the mints into the fridge and then for breakfast i was actually making scrambled tofu i start off with my butter and that's the tofu i'll be using basically you pat dry the tofu before using it um once you've removed the excess water from the tofu and then you cr you start crumbling it into the pan and what i like to do is add some baby spinach to my vegan eggs as we would call them um, and then to make sure that you get that extra nutrition you get the nutritional yeast you then add your paprika your salt your pepper and your turmeric um, and then you add a bit of milk like you would with normal eggs then it's time to plate up so i had some of the scrambled tofu and then i also added the mince and obviously avocado just had to make the cut once again this is literally a cool trick i learned on the internet how to remove the pip from the avocado um and i only used a quarter of the avo to eat up for breakfast and then i added some pepper to my avocado and yeah that was breakfast so it is almost the end of the day it's about 4 p.m um i'm currently working on my school assignment let me put you guys on real quick this tea is so good i decided to have tea um later that evening before preparing my dinner so here we have some broccoli i added some boiling water just to pop boil it and then we had some rice the mince from earlier i added some chickpeas from the previous day this is basmati rice i really enjoy it and then we have the broccoli that i just prepared now it's time to go get that school work done Friday, happy Friday. Um, so the time is after eight, and I'm currently experiencing no shooting. So I decided to use this time to actually do my workouts. I didn't work out this morning. So this is what I use when I do my home workouts. We have a skipping rope, a resistant band, some dumbbells, and my mat. Okay, so after my workouts, I decided to make some breakfast. I am making my favorite oats porridge, which I basically blend the oats. This is rolled oats from Woolies. We have some strawberries that I've chopped up. We have the no added salt and, pe and um, sugar peanut butter. And I have my chia seeds and my blueberries. Start off by blending my oats to make sure it's nice and smooth. So that's the consistency I was going for. I add some boiled water. And then I pop it into the microwave for about a minute. This is after it I've, be, I've removed it from the microwave and I just mix it up. Can you guys see that consistency? That's what I really, really enjoy. It's so nice and creamy. And this is all before I add anything else. Obviously, I have to add some protein powder. We have some peanut butter, some chia seeds. And yeah, now it's time to basically add everything in there. I start off with my peanut, my protein powder. <laughs> and then I also add my peanut butter and and I basically mix all of that up first before adding my toppings.
You guys know the story with load shedding. So when the power came back, I actually made some popcorn. It's that time of the month. And the girl is all about snacking and just eating food that is just so, so comforting. So I made these popcorn um, later that day. So you start off by pad drying your tofu to remove the excess water. I'll be blending all of this, which is the best part. It is so, so quick to prepare this meal. I make sure that I dry it up all the way through because I don't want that excess water. Then I add it to my blender. Once again, here is my lime. This time around, I'm only using one piece. I've literally learned my lesson. I don't want my sauce to be... Um, too sour so i didn't even use all of it i just used half of it and then i add my nutritional yeast this basically adds that cheesy taste that you want in your food which is why i use it and then for the color i use some turmeric you guys already know it changes the color of any sauce and then i use some parsley and i think i use some thyme as well um and then i added some crushed garlic you guys already know all of these things so yeah basically that's it i also added some salt and pepper then while all of that is being blended i actually started preparing my pasta uh i'm a big fan of linguine i really like linguine i enjoy it so much so when i'm home that's basically what i buy um obviously you guys know the drill of preparing pasta you add some oil you add some salt and there you go there's my pasta oh i forgot to tell you guys i added some coconut milk to the um, creamy sauce that is actually what took it all the way to the top greens are very very important so here we have some spinach once everything is done i actually place some spinach on the side please please rinse your vegetables it's so important please guys make sure that you rinse your vegetables thoroughly before utilizing them uh, and then what i did is just chopped up the spinach which is what i'll be adding to the pan on the side and then i'll add my cheese sauce which is ready and my pasta and i'll also add a bit of pasta water so what the pasta water does is basically add a bit of thickness um to your food guys it's friday so you know a girl's gotta pair up her pasta with some white wine um i don't remember the name of this so i'm not gonna lie to you guys but yeah food was ready it was time to plate up i think this all of this took me about 10 to 12 minutes to prepare which i really really like i think that's the best part of having this blended um sauce and yeah it's friday night so i get to catch up on some tv and i decided not to do some schoolwork because it's just been a long week and the girls gotta eat and just chill out <music> guys so that's it from me for this vlog oh let me show you the book that i'm reading this is the book and this is the oh this is the book i was telling you guys about anyway i hope you guys did enjoy watching what i eat in the three days um and it was quite interesting because i was i'm actually on my period so today was a bit of a hmm, not a healthy day 
but i tried by all means to let you guys in i'll see you guys in my next video have a great great week ahead